We're gonna jump into Photoshop and we're gonna just have fun and create something together. I have this beginning image, starting image. Okay, so I took these photos yesterday while I was walking around San Francisco. I'm gonna go ahead and bring it into Photoshop. I'm planning on using this as the face of this character. If I remove background here, it's probably gonna do, try to do a good job at removing the sky at least. Obviously the pen tool, it's like the go-to tool to like really get those details mm -hmm. in. And I've been using the pen tool for so long that I like really can live without it. And I'm gonna go ahead and do a major selection like that so that I can select the whole building, delete the bottom. I need to remove this right here. Mm -hmm. So there's also the, the new and improved removal tool, right? So I'm just going to hover over this. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, just loop around it, loop around it. Yep. And then when you come back to where you started, it should fill in the rest. Awesome. Yeah. It's going to automatically delete it, which is, look at that. And again, I'm gonna use the pen tool to kind of like, because in reality, this would be kind of like this. So now if I drag these two layers, it should look like it's inside, right? Ooh. One thing that in this photo is is wrong is that the lighting on my subject is hitting from the front mm. and on the house is hitting from the side. Like in theory, if we did a selection and we did a mask on that with curves, we could just edit that front mm -hmm. on its own. And that's already feeling way better. And then we can create another one and invert that. Do, Look at that and go the other way. Do a little bit of the opposite and let's group this. So we have a subject here. So I do want some smoke coming out of this. So I'm like literally like doing this. I do want to establish like a horizon on this. Now what you want to do is you want to create a generation. Desert scene, blue sky and white clouds. This one can work, right? Yeah. I'm going to flatten this just to remove the background. Okay. And now we have that in there and obviously we can as we learned today, also adjust colors on yeah, the sand. Yeah, adjust colors. So let's go ahead and make this the sky. Let's make it blue. Sometimes it's, it's more about making it realistic. Sometimes it's about making it fun. In my case, uh, I don't care for a hyper realistic image here. So I'm going to go ahead and start painting the sky. I'm essentially creating a gradient, but I'm doing mm -hmm. it step by step. And then I want to do a hint of like yellow. You know what we should also do? Like flip this. Okay, one of the coolest things that I've seen lately is the ability to like choose whatever you want to choose inside of your composition by going to the new mm -hmm. object selection tool. You click on it, and but it gives you specific things within the subject, right? So, you know, I, literally I just, by clicking that, selected the pants. Yep. And I'm going to copy paste them. And again, we're not going for a realistic thing here. We're going for a more like surreal kind of like look. And we're just having fun. Mm -hmm. We're just doing the thing, you know? You know, we can do a blending mode and it could look cool. Okay, the next thing that I want to select is the hands. And here they are. I'm gonna copy paste. Normally I like to apply colors to hands as well. Something that I do a lot with my work, just to the edge. These colors in the back, they're good, but sometimes I, I like to do a, like a color balance, like mess with it a little mm. bit more. Okay, I had another image that I took yesterday. So I'm gonna bring it in here. You know, I was thinking of putting it right here on the arm. There it is. Look at that. Select it. I'm just using circles here to cut it. We can select, and I'm following the perspective here of like everything that's going on around it. Let's go back into this, make a mask of it, invert it. I like the sound effect. And maybe change the color to something a little bit less loud. Perfect, yeah, so that, that kind of works. Obviously, we have to do the light treatment to this as well. One thing that I like doing a lot is to put two laces on, you know, grab the pen tool, like start messing with it mm -hmm. a little bit and let's do the next one we just <laughs> need to switch it to lines actually i'm going to make them like lighter right so you can really see them in contrast with that yeah okay, we'll just do this it definitely needs that red there perfect and then let's go to the camera raw filter this photo might have some grain that this photo doesn't have and in the gener generation mm -hmm. might have some grain that the other one doesn't have. So, you know, adding grain, it brings everything together yeah. in, a, in a very good way. Nice. Uh, doing a little bit of color grading, yeah, just to keep it warm. And boom. Boom, there it is. There it is. For me, it's all about having fun. Yep. Enjoying the process. Everybody, thank you so much. Please check out all the amazing tools that came out today in Adobe Max London. A bunch of new uh, features added to Photoshop as we saw. Thank you so much, everybody. We'll see you next time.